with Read to Me, Mrs. C. Learning through reading is fun. Yippee! So let's open a book and we'll have an explore. The more that we read will mean you're learning more. Hello, my listening friend. I'm so excited that you're back to read to me, Mrs. C. I have a story today that's super fun because it's told from the perspective of a worm. If you have the book, Diary of a Worm, go and get it because that's the book we're reading today. And for the rest of you, get comfy because we're going to get started reading now. Today's story, Diary of a Worm, is written by Doreen Cronin and pictures by Harry Bliss. Published by Harper Collins. If you love this book and would like to own it, there's a link in the description box where you can order it, support the author and illustrator, and have it in your hands for always. Okay, that's me. March 20th. Mom says there are three things I should always remember. Number one, the earth gives us everything we need. Number two, when we dig tunnels, we help take care of the earth. Must make tunnel. Help earth breathe. And number three, never bother daddy when he's eating the newspaper. Shop. March 29th. Today, I tried to teach Spider how to dig. Huh? First, all of his legs got stuck. I think I've twisted one of my ankles. Then, he swallowed a bunch of dirt. I give up. Tomorrow, he's going to teach me how to walk upside down. March 30. Worms cannot walk upside down. Ah. April 4th. Fishing season started today. We all dug deeper. Did you guys hear something? April 10th. It rained all night and the ground was soaked. We spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Oh, hopscotch is a very dangerous game. April 15th. Oh, I forgot my lunch today. I got so hungry that I ate my homework. My teacher made me write, I will not eat my homework, ten times. When I was finished, I ate that too. April 20th, I snuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't hear me coming. I wiggled up right between them, and they screamed. Oh, I love when they do that. May 1, Grandpa taught us that good manners are very important. So today, I said good morning to the first aunt I saw. Good morning. Oh, there were 600 more of them in line. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Nice to see you. Howdy. Good morning. Oh, I stood there all day. 
May eighth. Had the worst nightmare last night. Giant birds playing hopscotch. Mom says I have to stop eating so much garbage right before I go to bed. My listening and reading friends, what do you think about a book like this? A story is told through reading someone's diary. What a interesting way to tell a story. Let's see how this story ends. May fifteen. I got into a fight with Spider today. He told me you need legs to be cool. Then he ran. I couldn't keep up. Oh, maybe he's right. May sixteen. I made Spider laugh so hard he fell out of his tree. Who needs legs? Thud. May twenty eight. Last night I went to the school dance. You put your head in. You put your head out. You do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself about, and that's all we could do. June five. Today we made macaroni necklaces in art class. I brought mine home, and we ate it for dinner. You're very talented. June fifteen. My older sister thinks she's so pretty. I told her that no matter how much time she spends looking in the mirror, her face will always look just like her rear end. Spider thought that was really funny. <laughs> Mom did not. Wah, wah, wah. July four. When I grow up, I want to be a secret service agent. Spider says I will have to be very careful because the president might step on me by mistake. Oh, it's a dangerous job, I told him, but someone's got to do it. July twenty-eight. Three things I don't like about being a worm. Number one, I can't chew gum. Number two, I can't have a dog. Oh, can we keep a mom, please, please? Number three, all that homework. July twenty-nine. Three good things about being a worm. Number one, I never have to go to the dentist. No cavities, no teeth either. Number two, I never get in trouble for tracking mud through the house. Number three. I never have to take a bath. Oh, where's my grubby little boy? August one. It's not always easy being a worm. We're very small, and sometimes people forget that we're even here. But like Mom always says. The Earth 
never forgets we're here. Wow, we learned a lot about that earthworm's life by reading his diary. There are some facts woven through this story. And after I say goodbye to you, stay on this video because I have some interesting facts about earthworms that Doreen Cronin wove into this story. Okay, my friend, it's a joy to see you. And I want you to look at a lot of books. Till the next time I see you. And as always, and please help me say it, keep on reading. I hope you enjoyed the story. I have some earthworm facts for you. Pay close attention because the author used some of these facts to help tell the story. Number one, earthworms have no bones. They're invertebrates. Number two, they live underground and dig tunnels in the soil. Number three, earthworms help plants grow. Their tunnels help air and water reach the plant's roots. Number four, they eat dead leaves and plants. This helps turn them into rich soil. And number five, unlike that cartoon worm over there, earthworms do not have eyes. They feel vibrations and sense light and dark with their skin. Number six, their skin has to stay moist. This helps them breathe since they don't have lungs. Number seven, earthworms can grow back parts of their body. If part of their tail is cut off, it might grow back. Number eight, they have tiny bristles on their body. These help them move through the soil. Number nine, earthworms don't have teeth. They use their mouths to pull in food and they grind it up in their gizzard. Number 10, they come out when it rains. Too much water in the soil can drown them so they surface for air. And now for some fun and silly facts about earthworms. Number one, earthworms are super strong. They can move rocks and soil many times their weight. Number two, they can live in different places. You can find them in gardens, forests, and even farms. Number three, some earthworms are huge. The largest earthworm ever found was over 10 feet long. Number four, earthworms are food for other animals. Birds, frogs, and some mammals love to eat them. And number five, did you know that earthworms have five hearts? They do. These hearts help pump blood through their bodies.